you, Annie. Thank you, Annie. On America's favorite radio program, The Occident Hour of Smiles, starring your old softie, Bert Healy. <laughs> A moment of tears. Say something. Thank you, Bert Healy. But still, remember, folks. Smile, darn you, smile. Right, wacky, smile, darn you, smile. Say, Wacky, who's that who just walked into our WEAX studio? Why, it's none other than that wealthy industrialist and Wall Street tycoon, Oliver Warbucks. Now, Oliver Warbucks, I understand that you have something to tell the folks at home about wonderful little Annie here. Yes, good evening, Bert Healy. Annie is an 11-year-old family who was left by her parents on the steps of New York's Municipal Orphanage on the night of December 31st, 1922. And aren't you now conducting a nationwide coast-to-coast -coast search for Annie's parents? Yes, Bert Healy, I am now conducting a coast-to-coast -coast nationwide search for Annie's parents. Drop page. Furthermore, I'm offering a certified check for $50,000 to any persons who can prove that they are Annie's parents. Wow! Wow! So, Annie's parents, if you're listening in, write to Oliver Warbucks, care of this station, WEAX Studio, New York, or directly to him at... That's my home, Bert Healy. At... <laughs> That's my home, Bert Healy, 987 Fifth Avenue, New York, New York. That's 987, Fifth Avenue, New York, New York. And I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the makers of all new Occident toothpaste with Miracle L64 to fight bad breath for letting me appear here this evening. And I just did a damn commercial! Praise God, everyone goes to part tonight! This is the Good most night, all of the war bucks! <laughs> Thanks for dropping by, Oliver Warbucks. So, Annie's parents, if you're listening in, there's $50,000 and a wonderful daughter waiting for you. So get in touch right away, you hear? Say, so, Mr. Healy, is it time once again for the lovely Born and Sisters? It most certainly is, Wacky. Well, I see by the old clock on the wall that another of our Thursday night get-togethers has gone by faster than you can say, Occident. The toothpaste of the stars. To beg your teeth, Hollywood bride. So for all of the Hour of Smiles family, Ronnie, Bonnie, and Connie, the lovely Boylan sisters, Fred the Kraken, and Rocky, and Jimmy Johnson, radio's only best announcer. This is Bert Healy saying, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> hey, home man, hey, Jabba Dan. You both got your style, but brother, you're never fully dressed without a smile. Your clothes may be bald, Romilly. They stand out a mile, but brother, you're never fully dressed without a smile. Who cares what they're wearing on Main Street or Savile Row? It's what you wear from the Good night. Ah.